The Ruterum missile system was successfully test-fired recently from a Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter aircraft near the East Coast, and it hit its intended target successfully there. DRDO Chairman Dr. G. Sathish Reddy said it is basically anti-radiation missile launched from an aircraft, and when you release it, it will be able to detect any emitting elements, and then you will be able to lock on to that emitting element, and then it will be able to go on to act on them. Anti-radiation missiles are designed to detect, track and neutralize the adversary's radar, communication assets and other radio frequency sources, which are generally part of their air defense systems. Such a missile's navigation mechanism comprises an inertial navigation system, a computerized mechanism that uses changes in the object's own position, coupled with GPS, which is satellite-based. Supersonic missile-assisted release of torpedo, SMART, has been successfully flight tested by DRDO. All the mission objectives including missile flight up to range and altitude, separation of nose cone, release of torpedo and deployment of velocity reduction mechanism met perfectly. SMART is a missile-assisted release of lightweight anti-submarine torpedo system for anti-submarine warfare operations far beyond torpedo range. It takes off like a regular supersonic missile when launched from a warship or a truck-based coastal battery. The development of the system has been crucial in capacity building of naval platforms to strike beyond the torpedo range. The system will be a significant addition to India's anti-submarine warfare capabilities and the test on Monday is a key step towards its deployment. India successfully flight-tested hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, HSTDV, a giant leap in indigenous defense technologies and significant milestone, and joined an elite group of countries like the US, Russia and China, who possess the technology. A hypersonic missile is a quick reaction missile, which makes it invaluable in offensive as well as defensive uses. In case of defense, it can be used to intercept incoming missiles in the outer atmosphere or in the inner atmosphere. It will help add to India's ballistic missile defense capabilities. As per the statement given by DRDO, the cruise vehicle separated from the launch vehicle and the air intake channel opened as planned. The hypersonic combustion was sustained and the cruise vehicle continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of six times the speed of sound nearly two kilometers per second for more than 20s. The critical events like fuel injection and auto ignition of scramjet demonstrated technological maturity. The scramjet engine performed in a textbook manner. The parameters of launch and cruise vehicle, including scramjet engine, was monitored by multiple tracking radars, electro-optical systems and telemetry stations. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, successfully test-fired a laser-guided anti-tank guided missile ATGM, from the indigenous Arjun main battle tank. The missile employs a tandem high-explosive anti-tank warhead to defeat explosive reactive armor-protected armored vehicles, it has been developed with multiple platform launch capability and is currently undergoing technical evaluation trials from the gun of the Arjun. The ATGM employs a tandem heat warhead to defeat explosive reactive armor-protected armored vehicles in ranges from 1.5 to 5 kilometers. The Arjun is a third-generation main battle tank developed by the DRDO. India successfully test-fired its indigenously developed nuclear-capable hypersonic missile Shorya, with a strike range of around 1,000 km from a test range in Odisha. Shorya, which is the land variant of India's K-15 missile, has a strike range of 700 km to 1,000 km and is capable of carrying payloads of 200 kg to 1,000 kg. The launch is the latest in a string of recent weapons tests amid military tensions with China and the Ladakh sector. The surface-to-surface -surface medium range Shorya missile that can reach speeds of 7.5 Mach. The missile, equipped with multiple advanced computing technology and high accuracy navigation, efficient propulsion, sophisticated control and guidance systems, successfully followed its target in the Bay of Bengal. The DRDO officials said once launched, Shorya would be difficult to track by radars as the window for detection, tracking and interception is only 400 seconds. Like the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, Shorya can be stored in a composite canister, making it easier to handle and transport. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, on Wednesday successfully test-fired the BrahMos surface-to-surface -surface cruise missile with an indigenous booster and airframe sector, along with other sub-systems made within the country. The supersonic missile is one of the prime precision strike missiles used by all three forces, the Army, Navy and the Air Force. 
The BrahMos land attack cruise missile, LACM, was cruising at a top speed of Mach 2.8. The missile weighs around 2.5 tons and has a strike range of approximately 300 kilometers. BrahMos is jointly developed by the DRDO and NPOM, a leading aerospace enterprise of Russia. The BrahMos missile is a medium-range ramjet supersonic cruise missile capable of being launched from submarines, warships, fighter jets or land. The sophisticated missile, already operational with the Army, Navy and Air Force, is regarded as the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world.